It's election time once again and farm loan waivers seem to be the flavor of the season. Now, there's a lot being said all over the media channels about how mountain debt is crippling farmers across the nation on the horrific issue of farmer suicide and the overall plight of the Indian Kisan. The only way, the way in which the government which will pay other attention way to you. So the voice of farmer will reach to defend them government. The cure to all these woes going by the narratives of major political parties, seems to be a massive one-time loan waiver. But let's take a step back and maybe think about this. Would a one-time loan waiver really have an impact in solving the problem of farmer distress? If not, what exactly will help put farmers on the road to prosperity? Today, on our very first edition of So Basically, we look into farm loan waivers and ask the often overlooked question of why, even after 70 years of subsidies, welfare schemes and loan waivers, and agriculture's sizable contribution to GDP, Kisan Garib Q hai? Disguised unemployment. Too many people depend on agriculture for their living, but their contribution to the GDP is disproportionately low. Imagine, 100 people working to make a cup of tea. The productivity levels are dismally small. This in itself stems from the various issues such as small land holdings, lack of opportunities, etc. Poor marketing infrastructure. Indian farmers have to rely heavily on middlemen to sell their produce. Middlemen tend to be exploitative but in most cases, they are the only link most farmers have to urban markets. They say that commission agents have a lot of power because farmers are required to sell the goods through them. There are reports of some agents forming food cartels who collectively buy goods from farmers at lower prices and sell them at higher prices. No say in their produce. Farmers are not given a free hand in what and how they want to produce and also where and to whom they want to sell. There are way too many regulations. For example, the farmer could not sell his produce in an open market, but only to a government regulated body called the Agriculture Produce Market Committee or Mundis. External interference in the agriculture markets. Agriculture is a heavily politicized and romanticized issue in India. Our governments often manifest their support for farmers by manipulating prices and disrupting the market forces of demand and supply. The sugarcane farmers in Maharashtra, for example. Sugarcane needs a lot of water and for a drought-prone state to be growing this crop is unsustainable and impractical. Indian farmers are caught in a web of restrictive and politically triggered regulations. While a long-term endeavour towards better irrigation and better access to credit facilities is necessary, we need to take a step away from populist narratives towards analyzing the cause of the problem. Visit the link in the description to know more.